Hi everyone, uh, I, today I'm going to set you a home judo Pacific workout for everybody to do at home. Uh, I would like you to do this for the next three days, uh, the very minimum once a day. Uh, some of you uh, should be able to do this twice a day and I think um, in three days time when I re revisit this with a new set of workouts uh, this will greatly help us keep ourselves judo Pacific fit at home. So I'm going to run you through, through the eight exercises and then I'm going to tell you how you're going to do these over the next three days. Okay, the first exercise is a side to side uh, sugiyashi turn. So, just like we do at the club, we do two steps or one step to the side. Now, depending on how how much size you've got in your lounge, uh, my, ours is uh, quite a small space, but enough to do this exercise. Two steps sideways, and then we're going to pivot out and bend those knees to a sienagi position, and then we go back the other way, pivot through, sienagi position. So, one, two. Turn, remember to use your arms to pull through, and this is the turn out version. Remember to rotate both feet forwards. That's number one. Same exercise as number two. We go back, but this time we pivot back towards the wall here, toes painting forward, slight rotation of the shoulders. So we're coming through again. So running through them again. One, two, Pivot it back, one, two, pivot it through. Okay, second exercise is a burpee. So we're going straight into some burpees. Nice and high lift. Okay, so we all know those exercises. <coughs> Next, we're doing some shrimps. So we're gonna be on the floor for the shrimp. Obviously in the judo room, we go backwards and move up and down the mat. Here we're doing a static shrimp. Okay, foot on the floor. Pivot through here and take your hand to the side of the leg. Remember to lift up the hips and turn your body. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's the static shrimp left and right. <coughs> You're then going to do Kezagatami turn uh, to Yushiro Yushiro Kezagatami. So starting position. It's a Kesegatami stance, arm around the head, hold the arm, here and here, nice and low. You're going to lift up with the hip, forward foot, comes back, rotate, turn onto your plank position, then lift through, and then you reverse Kesegatami from the other side. Lift with the hip, hip through, down to Munikatami, hip up, sit through, Kesegatami. Hip up, hip through, hip up, sit through. Hip up, sit through, hip up, sit through. Okay, there's your Kezagatami rotations. <coughs> From there, you're doing the uh, press up, raised press up position. So you use a table or a settee. Uh, you want a hand's distance away from the settee or table. You do a press up, stretch out into plank, touch the settee. So you press up touches. You're then going to do a very dynamic wall uchikomi. So hopefully you've got a solid surface to work from. We're going to have a really important stance. Foot forward, foot back. So the stance position, slightly wide, not in line. Hand on the wall. Be dynamic with your posture. And you're going to push against the wall and then you release and very dynamically turn into your technique. So, once again, a little couple of pushes, a couple of pushes, light on your feet, and then bang, explosive turn. Explosive turn. So, that's the wall of Uchikomi. <coughs> You're then going to do bridges. <coughs> so, you're going to be bridging up and twist back. Bridge up and twist back as far as you can go. Make sure the hips are up and turn, rotate your body. Bridges. And then the last exercise is our speed each journey. So, one, two. Remember, we're turning in a square type of formation. 
facing this way, step through, turn, face the other way. Step through, turn, face the other way. A lot more faster. Okay, so there is your workout to do for your judo this week. Three days, and this is how I want you to do it. I want you to start with 10 reps on every exercise, have a little breather, then do eight, six, four, and two. If you're still feeling okay then, you then to go back up again in the pyramid. So you start with two, four, six, eight, and 10. That would be one complete circuit. Good luck with that. Please do the best you can. Don't cheat on the exercises and make sure you keep a, a log of how many you've done. So write down, create a little training diary. Eight exercises, three days of work. See you again. Take care.